So hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been quite a while since I last posted a video on the channel, but today we are looking into this Apple's little powerhouse Mac Mini M4 and answer the burning question whether it is good for coding or not. I've been using this for quite a while and I, I am myself being a software developer, do quite a lot of coding. And I've been using this for quite a while now and I have the base version with 256 gigabytes of uh, SSD and 16 GB of RAM and we're gonna put it through some serious tests and I think it's gonna give you a definitive answers if you're looking it to buy for just for the purpose of coding so if whether you can code on it or not we clocked a single score score around 4000 and the multi-core performance around 15,000 on the Geekbench which is quite impressive and puts it in the same league as M2 Pro and given that it is the base version it the score is seriously impressive for this benchmark is just a number let's see how it seriously performs in the real world scenario so first up we loaded the Mac with the medium sized react project and we ran the development server and everything worked just fine with no stutter and it was just a smooth performance so my react server is talking to the fast API server which I loaded and there was no lag whatsoever so now I have two servers running on my Mac Mini M4 and there is no lag which I felt and my app is also working just fine. Let me show you the app as well. Now my app is running on the local host and it was it is getting loaded and it is at the back end it is talking to the fast API server and I see no lag. All the tabs are working just fine. As you can see everything is working just fine and I have opened so many tabs and there is no stutter or no lag whatsoever so multitasking on this is pretty easy when you've got two or three servers spawned but now I have to load up my database so for the database I thought of using SQL but it is a tricky job to load a SQL server on Mac so what I did was I I had docker installed so I spawned up a docker server I spawned up a docker server, let me just show it to you, yeah, so here is the docker server, I spawned up a docker server, loaded SQL onto it and added SQL as well, now this SQL is also running, this SQL instance is also running on port 1443 and uh, for, the, for seeing the database I was using Azure Data Studio, so this is the database which I have created for my app and as you can see that everything is working so smoothly and everything is running parallelly on this and I'm also running Google Chrome and I have multiple tabs installed. I have multiple tabs open and I feel no lag whatsoever. So, so I tried running more apps on it and it was working just fine. There was no lag whatsoever. So if you are thinking of buying it just for coding perspective or to do some video editing, it is it can handle it. It can handle it very well. So kudos to Apple for giving this machine at this price point. I think many of the other influencers and many of the other video creators have also lauded the MacBook Mac Mini M4. So I think it is at this price point, it is very good for what it does. And I think it is comparable to thousand dollars or say in Indian rupees, I think a laptop which would cost cost you around thousand dollars or one one and a half lakh rupees so uh, at this price point I think if you're going for coding perspective you should just go and buy it without blinking because I ran for I was running docker SQL Azure data studio react app fast API server pa all parallelly and I was also running like 20 browser tabs on Google Chrome and it was running smoothly with no I, I didn't felt any lag in it so I can easily recommend you because I have around 10 years of coding experience so I can easily recommend you Mac Mini for coding and I can also do a video on the setup which I've done for Mac Mini so let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos on the Mac Mini and if you have any doubts for Mac Mini and I have uh, this video has been edited on Mac Mini only and I felt uh, I, there was no lag whatsoever the time was also impressive so if in case you're looking for video editing as well it's a very good uh, it's a very good machine for that as well so 
let me know in the comment section if you want to see another video on this how I set up the Mac mini I'm using two screens and whatsoever I have done a budget setup on this I'm not gone haywire and just spent a lot of money because I had to have a budget setup because it this by I was looking for a budget setup which is a powerful PC so if you let me know if you want to see a video on that as well and if you have already bought or you're planning to buy the MacBook, let me know in the comment section if you want to know anything. And if you like the video, do subscribe to the channel, like the channel and share the video.